My bike's gone. Fuck! Damn it, Copeland! Hey! You're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God damn it! I didn't take your bike, man. I swear. I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! You gotta ask Copeland. I don't know nothing. Hey! My bike! I didn't do nothing. Oh, God damn it. All right now, I'm gonna kill you. Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. Get your bike? Nope. Copeland's men got to it before I did. Yeah. Head to his camp. Yeah. Beacon out. Son of a bitch stole my bike! I know nothing about that. You gotta go talk to the man. Huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. I'm not looking for trouble. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. Work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once. Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop. Farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. How to focus your mind. Manny, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh. Oh, well. You don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. The fool that rode it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. It didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Hey, and let's talk. You had some trouble. Got hit hard last night. Rippers again. Twice now they've been up here. Some say looking for you and Bruce. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. Folks around here take care of their own. Go enough days without food. Well, you see how it is. Lake not holding out? Get a fair amount of trout. Lake's fed by snow milk. No one left to stock with fish. It's gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. Used to go hunting out here with the old man. He built deer blinds out here. Put down salt licks below us. Pick them off clean. Some winters had so much venison we couldn't eat it all. I didn't think that was legal. Deer baiting back in the day. My old man had only one law. The United States Constitution. He can only see us now. America. Land of the free. We are that. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. <laughs> Doug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Mm. <laughs> Tell you what. 
You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. All right. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever touch Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, Coke, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Poop. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now, that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. Well, Dick, Dick, uh, hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know. It's not... Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up. I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. So these men, you know them? Because shutting down Radio Free Oregon seems kind of personal. Goddamn right it's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. They didn't like the rules of stealing, raping, murdering. Well, maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. Jesus, this isn't a goddamn bike. Like that? This is it. The nearer checkpoint. I gotta find some shit for boozers, huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
another one. Sterile bandages, sterile bandages, where the hell would they keep this shit? Yes, sterile bandages. Just what the doctor ordered. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. How oh, hello. What's this? Nero tank. Ah, uh, some sort of a injector of some kind. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Ugh, why the hell not? Hey, Boozer, I, uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Oh, shit. Boozer! Hey! Whoa, ah! Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Oh, You're blowing your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. Come on, let me see that arm. Come on, all oh, right! Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. 